Hi, I'm Kim, the cooking instructor for Faith and Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing spiralized beet and kale salad. But first let's talk about the ingredients because they're, they were chosen because they are perfect pairings. The first one is beet and cumin, which is just a spice. They are both earthy but a little bit sweet and they pair very nicely together. The next is beets and chickpeas. This one is nutritional. The, B, the vitamin B6 in chickpeas helps absorb the magnesium found in beets. Similarly, the vitamin C in lemon helps absorb the plant-based iron found in kale. What's great is that these, these ingredients are meant to go together nutritionally and they also taste great. And I think that is something that God has done when he created the food that we eat is he created them to pair well together both in flavor and nutritionally. First step is that we need to roast the beets. You can either chop them up and, and roast them, or you can use a spiralizer. Um, I'm gonna use a spiralizer because it makes it a little bit more fun and the texture is a little bit better. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is, if you have, um, if you have any greens uh, left on the beet, just, just chop them off so that you get a nice, so you get a nice end that you can, you can stick into um, the spiralizer. And then also the, the root part needs to come off. Now you don't need to peel these. Um, the, the texture will not matter. So we just put the beet on the spiralizer like so. Make sure it's suctioned down. And then I'm just gonna spiralize right onto the baking sheet. Spread the beets evenly out on your baking sheet. I like to use one that's lined with a silpat. Then I'm going to spray them with some oil and season them. We're gonna use salt, a little bit of pepper, cumin. I like to season beets with cumin because they're both earthy, yet it also helps bring out the sweet flavor that, that beets naturally have. They pair well together. And then just kind of toss them to combine, make sure that all of the seasoning and the oil is, is even. Our oven is ready at 425. Take the beets, pop them in for 15 minutes. We're gonna let them roast, and then a little bit later, we're going to take them back out, toss them, and roast them again. While the beets are roasting, let's prepare the rest of the salad. First, we're gonna start off with kale, and to, to take the stems out of the kale, because they're pretty rough and they're bitter, you don't wanna, you don't wanna eat them. Um, I just pull off the, the top part before it hits the stem, and then I slowly tear it down, easily removing from the stems. You can either chop the kale at this point or just continue to tear it into bite-sized pieces. Um, you want something that's manageable when you eat. And we need about two cups. So we have two cups of packed kale. Now the problem with kale is that it's tough and it's kind of bitter. So what we need to do is massage the kale. I'm gonna transfer to a bowl and we're gonna add some, some salt, some oil, and some lemon juice. And this is basically gonna be the seasoning, the dressing for the salad as well. But what this does is it helps to break down the, the kale and it gives it a sweeter flavor. It makes it much more palatable. So oil, some salt, and some lemon juice. So you wanna massage it. Just grab it with your fingers and squeeze and move it around. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for a little bit. Um, you're gonna to start to see the texture and the color of the, of the kale change a little bit. The nice thing about kale is that it has a sturdy texture. So you can actually leave the kale dressed for a while while you're waiting for your beets to finish. 
Ours are done, so let's get them out of the oven. And now it's time to assemble the rest of the salad. Go ahead and put the kale on your plate. We're gonna to top it with a quarter cup of chickpeas. Um, if they're canned, drained, and rinsed, um, watch my previous video on how to actually make chickpeas from, from dried. Sprinkle those on. We're gonna do a couple of cherry tomatoes, about five or six. Just have them and toss them on. Take some of those spiralized beets, place them on top, and then we're gonna finish it with some Parmesan cheese. Just a good sprinkling. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the salad as much as I do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page. The links are below.